Alright, welcome everybody to this assembly video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing how to do some math in assembly. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for all those who do comment on my videos. Um, someone did suggest for me to have the font a little bigger if you don't have high definition. So I did make the font bigger for you all. You're welcome. Alright, so let's get to the tutorial. Let's declare some variables that will hold a message that we'll use later to display items to the screen. Okay, so here I'm declaring a variable that will hold the type of operation we're about to perform. It's going to go right here. It's going to replace this item right here. And then I display a message that will display the overall information that we're about to relay to the screen. So for example, it'll say 4 plus 4 is equal to whatever. Okay, so let's display that message to the screen. Okay, so what we do here is we call the printf function by pushing all the parameters onto the stack in backwards order. We'll jump over to the command line and run our program as it is right now. And as you can see, it did work. And we're saying we want to do 8 plus 4, and it should equal 12. Okay, so now here, if you look at this 12, you know that of course we didn't do any actual adding to get the result of 12 so let's go ahead and do that now okay so as you can see we're saying add AX register with ADX register and store the result inside of AX register well this can be problematic because what we're now doing is we're overriding the result of the value of AX register with 12 and so when we go to display the overall message it will say 12 plus 4 is equal to 12 for example if I recompile the program over here after saving the project I recompile it says 12 plus 4 is equal to is equal to 12 which is not true but that's only because we have here overridden the value of the ADX register with 12 and so the overall statement is not true. Uh, so as a way to solve that problem we could do something like this and here we say move ECX with AX. Now we restore the value. So basically we, we push 4 onto the stack so we can do the operation so 4 plus 8 will now be 12 and then we take the result of 12 into the CX register and then we push 4 back into AX register and so if we now compile and run our program it should say 4 plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 at the same time we have to change here so it's dynamic by chain by pushing ECX register which of course holds the result the final result so if we save that and recompile this is what my script to compile the program looks like and of course to make this script an executable all we have to do is And then to run the program, you just do dot. Okay. Alright, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Join me next time when I'll do go over subtraction, multiplication, and division. And as always, please comment and rate and subscribe. Thank you.